and welcome to Stocks to Watch, a platform to help you make informed investment decisions. I am Munir Barazi, your business analyst and host. And today I have the pleasure of talking with Sophie Caesar, the head of corporate development at Canadian North Resources, a company that is primarily focused on developing the highly prospective Ferguson Lake property, which contains deposits of copper, cobalt, and platinum group metals, among others. The company is listed on the TSX Venture Exchange as CNRI, on the OTCQX as CNRSF, and on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange as EO0. Sophie, it's good to have you with us today. Hi, Manir. Nice to see you again. Hi, Sophie. So you've recently posted an update about the Ferguson Lake property, which is twofold, operational and financial. Let's talk about the operational aspect first. You have filed the 43101 report, which includes a mineral resource estimate, providing a solid resource base for the initial development of a potentially large mine. So why do you believe the Ferguson Lake property has great potential to become a large mine, even at the current MRE? Well, we've always said this. So we believe that Ferguson Lake has this potential to become this mine um, because the current resource defines it as one of the highest grade and largest underdeveloped copper, nickel, cobalt, PGM projects in North America. Uh, the resource, which included an 80% open pit, uh, provides a solid foundation for an initial mine development. So that, coupled with further exploration to grow this resource, um, along with the combination of the high grade and the significant tonnage, we believe makes this a really strong candidate for being a large, profitable mining operation that's not uncommon for the area. So all the indicators point in that direction. And you mentioned there is potential for expansion. Tell us more about this potential. So we believe that there is substantial potential for the expansion of Ferguson Lake um, due to the identification of new targets along the 15 kilometer long mineralized horizon, as well as additional zones that we've identified. The successful drilling programs have demonstrated the continuity um, and high grade of mineralization at depth and along strike. So our team firmly believes that there is a possibility to further expand that resource. All right, so there is potential for expansion and you've already discovered some good grades there. Let's talk about another aspect of this project, the logistical aspect. How advantageous uh, is it and what will your infrastructure study cover? Well, many would say um, different, but I think that it's important for us to remember, even though we are in the north, we're in a very mining friendly territory of none of it. So while logistic aspects of the Ferguson Lake project can be challenging, there's also advantages due to its location. So we've planned an um, infrastructure study that will cover key areas, including transportation routes, power supply and water management. Um, it'll also assess the requirements for building and maintaining the mine site, keeping in mind efficient and low cost uh, effective operations. The goal is really to address the logistical elements to optimize the project's development and operational phases. Okay, so you're on top of the logistical aspect of this project. And also CNRI plans to engage in low carbon footprint development uh, for this project. Can you elaborate on this point and other ESG aspects? Of course. I think it's important also to note that, you know, any company that's looking at mining exploration, mining development or mining production, ESG has to be top of mind in, in this day and age. So we're committed to providing a plan to develop a low carbon footprint mine at Ferguson Lake. And we believe this can be done by incorporating new technologies such as biohydrometallurgy, which can reduce the environmental impact compared to traditional methods. Uh, we also plan to conduct extensive environmental studies to ensure sustainable practices are in place, which we've always been very, very adamant about. And other ESG aspects, I would say, would be working close with the Indigenous community and ensuring that we have transparent and ethical business practices. 
So this is a priority for you, obviously. Let's let's talk about the financial aspect of this project. I know it's still too early to to be certain about the economics of this project, but what can you tell us based on what you know so far? Well, you're right. It is early in the project's development to to be, you know, talking about numbers, but we believe it's very promising. Um, you know, uh, I'd like to point out that we did end the first quarter of 2024 with um, cash and cash equivalents of, you know, a, just over a $4.7 million. So we're very aware of our operating costs moving forward. Um, as well, the updated mineral resource shows a significant increase in that indicated resource. So we believe that suggests robust economic potential. Uh, preliminary metallurgical tests indicated that we're going to be able to produce multiple high value concentrates, which enhances the project's economics. Um, and then obviously further economic evaluations will be needed to provide more detailed insights onto the project's uh, financial viability. It's certainly moving in the right direction. My last question is uh, for investors. Uh, what catalysts should investors, both current shareholders and potential ones on the fence, what catalysts should be should they be on the lookout for? Well, obviously, we plan on continuing to drill uh, and provide exploration results to further grow that resource. Um, there will be results from ongoing metallurgical testing. Uh, there's also the infrastructure and environmental studies that will provide insights on the project development plans. Uh, we do plan to progress in obtaining the necessary permits and approvals from the local government and communities. And then, you know, as we move forward, we're still looking at finding a strategic partner to help us develop the mine. Wonderful and very exciting for sure. Sophie Caesar, the head of corporate development at CNRI, thank you so much for sharing all of those updates. And we look forward to hearing more from CNRI very soon. Thank you, Manero. It was my pleasure.